Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast. Question number four, can you share some specific strategies or tactics that you have used to increase either your income and or your net worth over the last 19 years that you've been in business? Yeah. So where I begin to put my focus because I was cash flow heavy, um, I didn't want to leave that cash just sitting in my bank account. But under the mindset I have of, well, I might need that cash flow to maybe purchase another business or to increase a current business I had, <clears throat> I went into the strategy of private lending. And that worked well because I was running a mastermind in a community um, of people that were doing all the types of deals, right? Fix and flip deals, et cetera, that needed particular capital. So at that point, I was earning you know about 10 to 12% on my money um, with one to two points. And I felt secure about that because it was collateralized against a property, right? That was bought at 60, 70 cents on the dollar minus repairs. And if I was putting out the cash, I was getting it back usually within an average of six months. Sometimes I might do a bit longer if they need to push that back. Um, but I was, I was going the route of just private lending and I enjoyed it. It was very passive. I lent money to people that I trusted. Um, but that was the primary thing that I focused on in increasing the cash that I already had without locking it up somewhere long term. I love it. And you weren't lending it to rookies. You were lending it to people that you knew and trusted and were in your group. So. Never had an issue one time in the years. Win. Win, win. I love that. All right, cool. <laughs>